Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another fantastic day on planet Earth. I'm going to the dentist. One of my molars, top left molar, is, um, you know you've got four prongs. Well, one of the prongs is broken. It's cracked, it's rattling away, and I've either got to get it fixed or removed. I think it's going to have to be removed. Now, the last time I went to the dentist and I had a molar on the other side removed was in the UK during COVID. Now, when I went, I had to go to the, the, the something, I think it was Stoke or something like that. It was the, uh, the dental surgery, you know, the place where people know what they're doing. And they punctured my sinus cavity which caused an infection in my sinuses and I nearly cried to be honest the pain was oh so much over here the dental surgeries the dental treatment and everything else you get is far beyond anything you get in the UK I'm sorry to slack the UK off but I've got to one of my front teeth is crowned and it was it was basically getting too long I suppose because teeth grow and they wear off and a crown didn't wear off and I also needed a molar extracting and I went in uh, she within 10 minutes I think it was no, 15 minutes 15 minutes of me being there I had the molar extracted didn't feel a thing and then she said okay we'll, we'll do the crown and so she started to remove the crown and I didn't feel anything it was right my front teeth, my top front teeth. I was, I was petrified, absolutely petrified. So she removed the crown and then she fitted another one, a temporary one, uh, which was better than the one that I had fitted in the first place. I went back a week later, she fitted the crown, I got no pain, no discomfort, I didn't feel the damn thing. Um, and she fitted the crown and it is an absolutely perfect fit. I paid for two x-rays, an extraction and a front tooth crown I paid 325 quid and they wanted over 1400 pounds just for the crown in the UK and over here when I had that done I felt no discomfort, no pain, no nothing even during the recovery I had the wisdom, not, not wisdom tooth, I, I had one of my back moulders taken out I felt nothing I felt no discomfort after nothing. Deal. <laughs> You're not missus. <laughs> this is the dental street. On the right hand side we have pharmacists, dentists. Here they are. Here are all the dentists. There are a lot of dentists here. You can pick your, take your choice. It's up to you. Look at that, 9.59. I can't remember which one it is I go in, actually. Oh, it's that one there. Not a Hollywood smile. Uh, I can't remember which one it was. Oh, that one. Is it? Is it? Yes, that one. Pattaya Smile Dental Clinic. Absolutely amazing. Right. Off we go. I can't talk very well because I just had my, my tooth out. Oh my god, she put so much injection in. I'll have to do a voiceover for this bit because I couldn't really speak because the anaesthetic was spreading across my face and I was I was even struggling to blink in my left eye. I went back at eleven thirty after falling asleep in two com. Um Tucom is basically a, uh, a massive electronics mall outlet sort of thing and it covers five floors. Uh, when I got there, uh, they took an x-ray, uh, took my blood pressure and then they put some numbing gel on my gums. I didn't even, didn't even feel the injection going in or injections. I think there's about three injections. And while they're extracting the tooth, they were pulling and pulling, uh, pulling and pushing my head around. Obviously, the assistant actually held my head to stop it from moving, which I thought was another brilliant touch. 
Uh, when she'd removed it, she waited for me to see the tooth rather than throwing it in the bin like they do in the UK. And she showed me that it was actually cracked in two places. So, you know, the tooth was completely dead. There was no saving it. Uh, the day after, they called me. They called me to see how I was and see if I needed any, extra, any aftercare. And they said, this is the phone number for an emergency. If ever you need us, just call us back and we'll sort you out. And I thought that was absolutely amazing. Now, including the x-ray, uh, it cost me 22 quid to have an upper back molar extracted. If you factor in the cost of parking, fuel and everything else in the UK, it comes to more than 22 quid. Um, I had the other side out during COVID at a dental hospital in the UK. Uh, exactly the same one, but on the other side of my face, an upper back molar. And they punctured my sinus cavity, and that caused a very nasty infection. Um, and I had to have antibiotics and God knows what, and it, and it lasted it was about three weeks I was in a lot of pain uh, but this one it's been very sore don't get me wrong I expected it to be very sore but it's been without complications and I couldn't be happy with the service I really couldn't so to me Thai dentists one UK dentists nil I've had some very bad experiences with the UK dentist, dentist. Every, every time I go there's always some complication but this one no problem whatsoever. I hope you enjoyed the video and I get you can understand what I'm saying. Uh, I, I'm got, I better end it now while well, I can still speak. I'd like you to remember that life is definitely worth living on this measly earth. All you've got to do is get out there, do what makes you happy, do what makes you smile, and bollocks ooh, to what anybody else thinks. I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. Because I'm worried. It probably won't hurt because every bit of dental surgery I've had over here, it's never hurted. Hurted. Is that even a word? My adrenaline's gone stiff.